everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here today with the fifth and final layout using my Happy Girl kit from The Reset Girl. And this is the kit that I purchased to review in March 2018. It is kind of a project life slash planner slash traveler's notebook kind of kit. Um, but make sure you go back and check out my unboxing as well as all of the other process videos that are associated with this kit so you can really see what comes in it and how I've used it. So I'm starting with these photos. These again are from May 2016. Every single layout that I've done with this kit so far has been um, from May of 2016 but I just felt like it really worked with the colors in these photos and kind of the time frame. It was kind of springish summer kind of thing and it worked really really well with the colors and and, um, graphics that were in the kit. Um, I did pull a few of these papers from my stash and I had at the very beginning pulled some papers from my stash to be able to use with the kit because I knew if I wanted to do any 12 by 12 layouts that I needed to make sure that I had 12 by 12 paper available. So I'm kind of Frankensteining a card here. I am making this one um, by cutting two of the journaling cards that I printed um, and making one. So I have a sunshine at the top with the little trees at the bottom and and those were just two separate cards that I wanted to kind of include together. I liked both of those graphics, but I kind of wanted more than just the sun and more than just the trees. So I just kind of cut them and put them together. Um, and you really can't tell once it's in the pocket that there's a seam there. Plus I am going to add a little bit of decoration on top of that. So you're really, your eye is really going to be drawn away from the fact that there's a seam on that card and you're not even really going to be able to pay much attention to it. Just got to replace my glue runner here, and then I've got two different pink toned um, pattern papers to go down here at the bottom, and I'm really kind of just playing up on a couple of the pink tones that are in the photos as well as in the cards that I've used. I've got this diagonal stripe, which I really think is a beautiful paper, and then I've got a tone on tone pink polka dot. Now, I did have a few of these wood veneers sitting on my desk that I pulled at the beginning to kind of work with this kit um, if I wanted something other than just flat paper items. And so I really kind of utilized a lot of those wood veneer and acrylic pieces throughout this whole kit. Um, and this layout is no different. I'm going to use two wood veneer in particular and then I'm gonna pull two more from my stash to use. So I've got this camera over here on this refresh card and it's just going to be a filler card. Then I've got this um, live, live what you love down here on the bottom. And this is just a picture of Kaylin and his friend. And so I just thought that was a really kind of a, a nice um, a phrase that was kind of fitting for this card um, or this, yeah, this card down here at the bottom. So I'm going to glue it down, but also I'm going to add some Tim Holtz tiny attacher uh, staples to it, just kind of for decorative, but also kind of to make sure that it doesn't move. And I am going to staple it and then I'm going to turn it over and just kind of push those staples closed. When I was stapling into the wood veneer or over the wood veneer, I noticed that the staples just weren't really closing. And so by using the actual back of my tweezers and these are just some EK tools tweezers um, it actually is really easy just to push those down and they end up being a little bit flatter actually than what the stapler makes if it closes it on its own and the same thing for this camera um, wood veneer here I just kind of stapled over the sides and then as you see I always use washi on the back side just to cover up any staples or brads or anything like that I find that that's just a little bit better for me because I want to make sure that it's not going to puncture a card that's sitting on the opposite side or something like that. Now here are those other wood veneer that I'm bringing in and they're triangles. I'm just going to back those with a little bit of pattern paper and this is just some of the scrap pattern paper I have. And the reason I'm doing that is because these little wood veneer are going to layer over a few people's heads, the backs of a few people's heads, and I thought it was kind of distracting to have or to be able to see that through the wood veneer. So I'm just kind of trimming those and adding a little bit of pattern paper to it and then I am going to add another banner from one of the sticker sheets just to layer behind that. I was trying a few different ones but I ended up settling on on this pink one here. Again with the pink, I actually really like the way that the pink looks. It's kind of a softer pink, but I really kind of like the way that that works with a lot of the pink that are in the photos. I'm going to create a few little captions on a few cards. Um, this top one is going to have 
um, this yellow banner and I did go ahead and mat it on a piece of white cardstock or just backed it with a piece of white cardstock because there was so much pattern on the on the photo in the background you could really kind of see it through that yellow striped banner so whenever you see me doing something like that it's just so you can't see the pattern through the the sticker or through the paper. I don't want it to be distracting. I'm kind of using that to cover that up. So I just used my LA Studio Tile Alphas, which I so love, to write the word buddies. And then I'm going to put um, best right above it using some of these, um, right here, these uh, Kaiser Craft Tiny Alphas in black. And they're just little tiny uh, tile alphas. So I'm writing the word best. And so I'm also going to add this little cloud. And this is another time that I use those um, number um, number clouds there were a couple different number options whenever looking at the sticker sheet and that's really kind of for the planner side of this if you were to use the planner and so I used um, the number three cloud that was there so it's going to say three best buddies now I'm working back on this filler card again and there's a sticker that says hello my name is and then I'm going to put the word big boy the words big boy um, and Kaylin is getting so big he's growing up so quickly and so I just thought it was kind of a clever thing to put big boy here and so I'm just kind of filling in that filler card um, and then I'm going to add one little hexagon and then that card will actually be done. As you can see I had the washi to the left and I really kind of end up moving it over to the right here. I like that polka dot washi. That's one of those things that I had picked up on Tuesday morning not that long ago but the colors really kind of coordinated with this kit well so it was kind of fitting that I had um, recently purchased that um, but not purposefully to use with this kit. And I used that washi tape in just a few places just to kind of bring that same pattern across the page. I used it on the opposite side, complete opposite side of the layout with that refresh card. Okay, so I've kind of got the bases down. Now I'm starting to look at it and go, okay, what else do I need to do? Well, I don't have a pattern card or paper behind the two middle um, cards. And so I'm kind of looking through my scrap bin to see what I have. I can either pull out a neutral or I can pull out a color. I end up settling on this handmade paper from Echo Park. It's their handmade collection. And it's just got this teal with kind of like white dots on it. And I thought it would be a nice way to pull in a little bit more color that does coordinate with the kit, but a little bit more color that's kind of a softer pattern without being distracting. The pink is already pretty bold. So I thought kind of this mint teal kind of color <laughs> pattern paper that's very soft would really work and it kind of it really coordinates with the colors that are already in this kit and I'm just going to use it to back both of those photos the two photos the photo of Kaylin with me and Ernest and that's his graduation and then the photo with him and my mom his grandmother for graduation I love those photos he looks so cute and so proud of himself we were so incredibly proud of him um, he was super nervous up there on stage, but he's such a cool kid, and I just love his, his little attitude and um, just his demeanor. He's super cool. Um, going through, trying to figure out what I want to do, and this bottom left card is really kind of my title card, but it's also kind of my journaling card as well. And so I'm going to end up typing my journaling. I was going to handwrite it and then end up changing my mind and typing it, but I am going to add a few little decorations first. I've got a little cloud with some washi tape and then um, this little like pinwheel thing. Um, it's a hexagon with a pinwheel on it, but I am going to take that off and I'm going to mat it on a little bit of white cardstock because I felt like it was just blending into the background too much. But before I actually do my journaling, I'm going to take a few of these little sprinkly bits from the sticker sheet and kind of scatter them about. I like all the little, they're like little plus signs or little dots and I just think they look so cool kind of scattered around um, the page. It's almost like you could use them somewhat like um, enamel dots and I think that's super cool. I've got a little banner up here that I'm using on the top right card that says refresh and then just a few little sprinkles will be added around that as well and a little star by the wood veneer. And then I'm going to kind of go through and just do my last little bits here. I don't have a lot left to do on this layout. I primarily need to do my journaling as well as my title. I don't have a title on this page yet, but it's going to be a pretty simple title. It's just going to be preschool graduation. And then I'm going to put the date of 2016. And because I already used the the LA Studio, LA Studio tile alphas in gray, I'm, I'm going to use the exact same thing to do the other um, 
captions and titles on this layout just to kind of keep the same consistency and cohesiveness around the page. I've already got that alpha in two different places so rounding out with the third just just fits. So I've got my journaling here. I typed it up. I absolutely love the way that the type journaling is. I've really considered doing type journaling at the time that I print my photos but I don't really know because I don't really have like the layout planned per se already at that point, um, the full layout plan. So, but I thought it would be nice to go ahead and have the journaling printed that way when I'm actually scrapbooking, I don't have to stop and print. So we'll see, I don't know if that's something I'll do. Now I am using my Sakura white opaque pen, which I absolutely love. It's a paint pen and you just have to be very careful with how hard you press because you'll get a really bold line if you press really hard, but you'll get a kind of a softer line if you press not quite so hard. And it was a great way to kind of alter some of these tile alphas to be able to have exactly what I need. So I'm actually going to write out the whole world, whole phrase, preschool graduation. I changed a couple P's into R's. And let's see, I think I changed a V into an A. Is there anything else that I changed? I think that might be it. That might be it. I had to make sure everything was spelled properly and counted my little, my tiles to make sure that, so preschool had one less letter than graduation did, so I can kind of offset the way that those look. And I really, really love the way that that title looks. And then I am going to put the 2016 to the bottom. And as you can see, I've almost used up that entire sticker sheet, which is absolutely crazy to me, but I really, really love it. Just adding the few final touches, and then this layout is actually going to be complete. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing me work with this kit. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever, and make sure you keep an eye out the next day or two for my killer kit video because I will share all my layouts as well as my thoughts and what I have left from this kit. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll chat with you later. Bye. Bye.